Rashida is one of the 8 million women who borrows from Grameen Bank, a microcredit institution created by Nobel Peace Laureate Mohammed Yunus. In the 90s, Yunus received grants and loans from international governments and aid agencies to fund the bank and in turn make small or micro loans to poor women unable to borrow from traditional banks. Instead of borrowing from the local money lenders, we started borrowing from Grameen Bank. The interest rate is lower, but it's still high. It can be up to 30 percent and it's very difficult for many of us to pay it back. In 2008, I traveled to Kalihati to meet some of the bank's first customers. I met women who, after 30 years with the bank, still live below the poverty line and are unable to pay back their loans. Every week, they receive threats from growing bank managers who want to get their money back. After repeated written requests for an interview, I met with managing director of the bank, Noor Jahan Begum, to ask her why so many women I had met said they were being threatened by the bank. Fear and intimidation is common practice at Growing Bank, explained Korshad Alam, a former employee who was fired in 2008 for questioning the bank's practices. Dr. Yunus is making people even poorer. As soon as someone can't pay a loan, we give them another loan. And when they can't pay their debts, we threaten them. We tell them you should sell your children if you need to. You have to pay back your loan. Grameen has grown into an empire. With its annual revenue of $100 million, it has spawned more than 20 companies in Bangladesh. Poverty is a big business. Grameen Bank is a brand. That has caught the imagination of uh, Western media and Western uh, donor community. And uh, don if the donor community does not take the trouble of looking into what has been happening over the last 30 years, then it's their responsibility. Now the Norwegian authorities are investigating the past of Dr. Yunus. They're looking into claims that he diverted more than $70 million in donor funding from Growing Bank to a sister company without their consent. Dr. Yunus's bank says the allegations are baseless and fabricated. It denies any wrongdoing. But the bank is facing mounting criticism for the way it handles business. Grameen continues to grow. Its plan is to have 500 million new customers by 2020. Nicholas Hawk, Al Jazeera, Dhaka.